Guys, do you have a spin for serve? So I can get this out of the way and then uh, I'll get in front of the chair. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, you don't want to stop. I want you They've done it again, Johanna Runt and Stephen Mitchell are the APTA national champions for the second year in a row. There you have it, your women's APTA national champions, Florentina Harnish and Anna Maria Zabori. Should be here. Is this it? Is it on?
Yeah. It's live. Okay, great. and welcome to the APTA's tour series. We are live from the Westchester Country Club in Rye, New York, bringing you the Westchester Open, sponsored by the APTA membership, our national sponsors, Viking, and local sponsors, Grant and Sons Liqueurs, Mission, Grayson and Associates Law Firm, Curry Automotive, Exclusive Bridal Shop, Lemon Perfect, and Skull U, I'm Jerry Viant, along with Mark Fischel, bringing you the women's final between the number four seeds, Amy Shea and Jolene Sutter, and the number one seeds, Floor Harnish and Anna Maria Zabori. Mark Fischel, how are you today? I am not as warm as you are in Australia, Jerry, but uh, doing okay, <laughs> nonetheless. Uh, we got Good. a rematch from the Detroit Invitational, which was last month. And we're hoping for a more competitive match. We'll meet the players on the court. On um, the top right of your screen is Ana Maria Zabori, who's celebrating Serbian Christmas today. That'll be the only court holiday I'll be referencing. And her partner, Flor Hanish, in the kind of pink shoes. And then if we could swing the camera around, that's Amy Shea in the green, who just hit that serve. And then her partner, Jolene Sutter, in the pink. It'll become a little more visible when we have a better view. Our chair umpire today is Greg Robertson, um, and I'm hoping it's going to be an exciting match, Jerry. Why don't we take a quick look at the keys to Viking, keys to victory? Yeah, well, we're waiting for that to come up. As you mentioned, Mark, this is a rematch of our last APTA tour stop in Detroit, where Hanish Sabori defeated Shea Sutter. And I think Shea Sutter uh, have had time to look at that match and come up with a few points of play. But I think um, they really have to look at serving with different net formations. I mean, they just could not get into the point when they played uh, back in Detroit and, and really tighten up their net position because Zabori is just, she was able to find holes as was Harnish from the do side. So, um, I and as far as Harnish, to victory. <laughs> it might have been. Um, and Harnish Sabori, I mean, they. Oh, here we are. She said, yes, serve with the different net positions and tighten that up. And, you know, I love the way Jolene Sutter's game has just kept improving. And she's got to keep attacking. She's got to keep hitting off of both wings. And she's. Her body language has changed. She's gotten more confident. Um, Amy Shea is a perfect partner for her, to bringing her along, but she's she's got to step up, and I watched a little bit of that semi-final, and it um, appears to be, and that's a big difference. That's a, That'll be a big big step up for them. I thought she was the best but, player on the court in the semi-final. Yeah, yeah, she, she and she, she looked energized throughout the whole match. Anish Sabori, uh, for them, they need to stay disciplined. They, they, they're on a roll, but they've got to really stay mindful of what got them there. They've got to control the speed of play. The faster it is for them, the better. And they've got to be creative. You guys can decide in advance if you want to do that. You can hear our umpire here. Bringing a new ball in, as much as I'm trying to keep it warm, it's cold. So do you guys want to keep playing with the same ball? You guys can do that. And that's yeah. and that's fair, but I wanted to just get that up front. Yeah, I think it was your I have them in, in here, but remember it was still cold. I know it affects the game. To just play it. I 
Okay. All right, ladies, before we start, I'll do quick introductions. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2022 Westchester Open. This is the ladies' finals match. On my right, playing out of Wilton, Connecticut, Amy Shea. And her playing partner, playing out of Darien, Connecticut, Jolene Sutter. And on my left, playing out of Union, New Jersey, Florentine Hanish. And her uh, playing Jeff partner, uh, playing Nick, out of uh, Westport, Brodier. Connecticut, Anna Maria Zubori. <laughs> Ladies, play well. That was a no flurries coming down. Yeah, that was a brilliant introduction by our umpire Greg Robinson. I mean, kudos to those guys. They, I hope he is dressed warmly because, as you just pointed out, Mark, the snow is coming down, um, and you can see there's a nice crowd there at the Westchester Country Club. They really do appreciate their paddle. They've got a fabulous paddle program there, and of course, Florentina Harnish was the pro, their paddle pro there for many years. So. Um, and it's, and it's local. All four players are from the tri-state area, so they do know all the players. And here's Jolene Sutter is going to start serving. Yeah, they've, they've got to serve well, Jerry. They've got to serve well. They've got to accept their formations. I'm a little surprised they're starting out serving to Zabori in a normal formation. And there's that big hole in the middle you talked about earlier. Yeah, and actually, I just saw Amy Shea take a step back when the ball bounced, which opened up even more room for Corey. Could have driven a truck through that hole. Love, 30. <laughs> and I think it's really important for Shea Sutter to get off to a good start and not have memories of what happened in Detroit when they got run over like a truck. Because they can't yeah, be well, feeling that... too confident right now. No. Like we said, they've, they've had a couple of weeks to review that match and dissect and I'm sure work on a few things. The key with Hannes Sabori is just getting enough balls in play. Lauren and I talked about this in the semi. Just kind of drag him into the mud, make him grind, make him hit a lot of overheads, a lot of lobs. You know, it's easier said than done. But if you play fast, one thing's for certain. That's if your game's not Gabby Nikolescu, you're going to come out in second place. 30 all. And so still staying with a regular formation, but Amy Shea is off of the net. Look how far back she is, Mark. Yeah. 30, 40. To start. You can't afford to give away points to a team as good as Hans Sabori. Great crowd gathered there. Yeah, they love their paddle. Westchester Country Club. Shane Sutter switching early. Game. It just so can't be off the net. Yeah, you can't, you, you can't be off the net. Um, one of our keys was being creative, and that's the element that I have seen Hanish and Sabori have add to their game this season. You know, they're, they're, they're solid. They're solid off the deck. They're, they're solid off of all points of their play, and now they're starting to see the court differently and open up different plays, and that's dangerous for the opponents. Key carry was dead position. So, uh, 15 yeah. love. And you just cannot hit that three quarter pace drive against the boys. She will punish you with a drop shot all day long. Yeah. 15 all. Mentioned the great crowd, Jerry, but there are also lots of watch parties going on. I was talking to Mick Ordoya. Get a bunch of people in Montclair watching the match. 
recovering from a, a nasty bout with COVID. Oh, Mick has? Yeah. Uh, I wonder it. why. Yeah, I wonder why he wasn't in the draw. Yeah, just I mean, draw. the energy level at this point. That was yeah. a great ball there from 15, Jolene. 30. That's what Sato's got to do. She took that ball early and she got a reaching error. The first boy will give you some contributions. You just got to give them a chance to give you some contributions. Yeah, especially those, you know, those first four games, players have to settle down. If you can capitalize on a couple of free points like those faults. 40, 30. Nice off pace little overhead there by Harnish. And as the umpire told us, it is extremely cold, so the ball is not going to sit up that much. So you hey. saw it really stay down low. Harnish, Zabori. It almost seems like she's a hustle. How many times have you seen Amy Shea hit a turn to serve over the side wire? Yeah. That was a good serve, but nothing Amy Shea can't handle. Uh, it's, it's a first few games jitters, I think. We'll just let her settle down. You won't see too much like that. <laughs> unless, unless Zabori really cranks up the spin. I just think these first few games are so important for Hunter and Shay to get Whoa. some belief. Not that it ever happened to you, Jerry, but if you had lost a match really badly to a team one week and had to play them the next, what would your reaction have been? If I, what, I missed half of that, Mark. Not I said not that it ever would have happened to you, but if you had gotten steamrolled by a team the week yes. before and then had to play them again, how would you oh. have reacted? Well, you know I would have been studying that tape and, and going through play by play and just, you know, it really, they just could not compete last week. Uh, 30, and I would have been, you know, work, working always, working on your weaknesses. You know, you're, if you're not sure what your weaknesses are, your opponents will definitely tell you <laughs> it's where you're seeing most of the points, but... 40, 50. And Amy Shea, <laughs> you know, she's... Devorey, she's Devorey throws the glove across the net. Accidentally, of course. Oh. Um, Amy Shea is such a student of the game, too. And during the match, I mean, she can really figure out what's happening while it's happening. And that's why I think Zabori and Harnish... Are, difficult for her because they give her different looks you know they, they change it up and part of that being creative Game. she's Game. having she's having Turn. to constantly adjust they're on the board now i think three returns and uh, a lot Okay, for more Hynish to serve to Jolene Sutter. 15, love. Big serve from Hynish. Lauren and I talked about it, the semis. I think that Hynish Savoy probably have the two best throws in the country. Yes. Yeah, you know, speaking of that, they played Kerry Delmonico. I agree with Lauren. Delmonico looked like she had... She was doing something different on her serve. I mean, she consistently has a, a nice, deep serve, very rarely faults. 40, love. And, and up until these two, you know, coming into the game and really working on their serve, she, she always was one of the best servers in the game. Well, this is a dream start for Hannah. This game. play is just Laura, super fast. Hanesh Han Zabori, yeah. they lead the first set, three games to one. Chichay and Shutter have got to slow play down. Just more grinding points. Lob well, they love so well in the semis.
They've also got to, Shay said, I've got to watch the speed of their overheads. 15, love. Can't, can't give them too much pace. You know, they'll use the ball off of the screen. If they hit it short, you know, they're going to attack. Same return. Yeah, but I mean, that, that, whole, that middle is so open. As far as they're not in the eye formation, they're staying back for something different. Sutter's coming in wide, and Shea is off the net and to her right. Ah. Those are the points they've got to avoid. You can't 15, play those fast transition 30. points against them. Sutter, Sutter's got to lob that ball and give Shea a chance to recover. Now, I'm not sure she knew that Zabori was in. Right, this is the side they've got to... Sutter's got to come in right next to Shea. 15, and there, when she missed 40. the volley, you could see the space between them. It wasn't a factor in that one. Same place. The alley is just wide open. Big hole for Shea Sutter. Yeah, this is a this is a big point here for early in the match. Great job attacking that down of open. You see, you have to be careful. And you see Zabori in the backcourt. She's just she's lobbing well, and then she's moving, right? So she's setting up her her offense as her lob is traveling, or as Harnish's ball is traveling. So smart sort of there from Jolene Sutter. Light cord line. Advantage, Shea Sutter. That was a big backswing on that return. I don't know whether Amy Shea is staying further back off the net to give her a little bit more time to read and react, Mark. Possibly. Good, but that's a lot, you know, it's a lot of reaching and bending you've got to do from back there. It also opens up the court for this that's, play. Right, and, and that's what she exposes yeah. herself to. If you know, Zabori keeps moving in, she can put that little ding shot down at her feet. And then come in for the blitz like she just finished off there. a good angle there to, to show us the net positioning. Yeah. 
really going after Harnish on this point. There's the middle. Ah, they, they got away with it, but I don't like that net positioning, Mark. They've got four hands in the middle, and they're both reaching for that ball when Zabori goes over the, the center strap. Just falling back on that ball. Triple lobbed it. Another point for two three. Three two. Yes. Is there any explanation for the complete lack of left handed on this game? Shocking. Shay Sutter. Go, go. There it is again. Another great get from Shay. to the middle, looking for to cut that ball off. Right there. Advantage, Shay Sutter. It's the speed of the overhead from Shea. She swung it quicker than Sutter could shift. Zabori had it. So you've got to watch that speed of play when you're changing from player to player. Got to make sure that your team is set in the high percentage areas before your opponent strikes the ball. Of course, comfortable that back I uh, love that overhead from Shay. She keeps it deep in the court, low in the screen. It's good. Put to the middle of it behind her. Definitely, definitely over. Yeah, definitely over. That's okay. Play deuce. Advantage, 
percentage, Shea Sutter. There's that same spot, Jerry. We keep seeing that over and over again. Yeah, they've, they've got to make some adjustment. You know, maybe have Shea start Australian, close down the middle, or or uh, trying to poach or st stay back. Just change change the look here. Yeah, I'm surprised they're not going with the, the I formation or Australian here. Something. Mm -hmm. And how far? I keep, you know, I just have never seen Shea that far back off the net. So it just gives Zabori more of an opening. Game. Shea Sutter. Big hold there from Shea Sutter. Harris yeah, that was a very big hold. Set. Three games to two. They're going to feel much better about that. Great crowd there at Westchester. All gathered around the hut. Yeah, no so evening. like, yeah, it's it's the uh, APTA tours. This is, um, what, this is number eight, I think, on the tour. We've got 16 tournaments. Yeah, yeah, we're rocketing along. We're into wow. 2000, 2022. Our next stop will be uh, the Midwestern, Cincinnati, and then next up weekend. to Boston. And Jerry, we should talk about team nationals, which are going to be taking place in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey, and Chicago. The women will be in Chicago April 2nd and 3rd, the men in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. Everybody's eligible. Grab a team. Sign up. It's a great event. Everybody loves it. Yeah, I think that's a great new initiative that the APTA is doing. So it's team nationals. It's for every level of play. And hit comment there. I think I did see a little hip check there, Mark. A little, little hug. It's okay. I still love you, even though I pushed you out of the way. Yep. Zabori's not shy with her movements. Did Suari do that a lot, Jerry? Um, no, I, I actually, she did put her hand on my shoulder at one point, kept me down. No I had checking. slipped. <laughs> no, she down. didn't have me. Yeah, she did. You're I slipped. There? It was in right. I did. I, I paid attention. I think I came up, made like a like a guest appearance, a few hits into it, and hit a drop shot because I was so low. <laughs> I can remember actually it was uh, Rochester Nationals. Hogan Prendergast. I wonder if Patty remembers that point. I'll have to ask 30, her. 15. Please didn't want that match. I think no. Shea does really well, hits those nice, deep lobs. But like you said, Mark, the, the off-pace drives are just not going to fly with both Harnish and Zabori. They both like to hit the drop shot. That's the way they love to play, accelerating the pace. Third pedal slam. There it is, making an appearance. Nice combination of overheads by Harnish there. Look at this board to stay back. She's building the point with those lobs. Oh, that's great action. Yeah. Another Manage example of how good Harris Sabori are in transition. You just cannot get drawn into that game. They're just too good at it. 
And it took advantage of Sutter hesitated there. She gave up the net and then realized Shay was still at net and came up to join her. Harnish caught her off the net with a ball at her feet. On his forehead's been a little bit wild, so just a bunch of. Again, how wide Shane was coming in there, just hitting forehand volley. Thirty love. Thirty fifteen. Sense of urgency in the retreat. Then. There, from Honish, takes us to 30 all. Just feel like whether in the backcourt or they're in the net, how should worry in control of the point? Dictator. Yeah, I'm, I'm not not quite clear on Sutter and Shea's strategy. I, I thought they were going to play more balls to Harnish, and they kind of stay with it to a bit. And then the movement of Zabori in the backcourt. I don't know if they're trying to surprise her like just then. It's, they just need to be a little more patient and stop that swinging back and forward because the Finish. opening's there Finish. and, and the they're board. finding those forehand volleys. It's just hard to keep those forehand volleys in the court. Like where are... Che and Sutter going to win their points. How are they going to build their points when they're at net? Yes. It's not a, that's a winning shot, but it's not a replicatable strategy. They're hanging into the set on the skin of their teeth. You actually have skin in your teeth, Jay? Mark, I'm having a hard time hearing some of your audio. And I'm at, I'm at, I'm getting a couple of texts too from people. You want to just check your settings. Advantage, Hanish, Zabori. Oh, Game. there's the Hannes middle again. There's, there's the middle again, though. Hannes Zabori lead the first set, five games to two. Because the boy made contact with that ball almost in Hannes' alley. When uh, yeah, when Shea and Sutter switch play that quickly, it's it just plays right into the strengths of Hannes and Sabori. Hannes and Sabori taking the ball off the deck early, and they're catching, and the middle's open. Five-two. I think you made a great point, Jerry, which is what is their strategy? Because it's it's not discernible right now. Yeah, I, th I really did think in the beginning that they were going to play Harnish more straight. But, uh, but again, she does lobs well um, and moves the ball around. And they're just, they're just not giving Shea... And Sutter, any rhythm? It's they're changing the look so much, and that's what I. Uh, one of our keys to victory was that when they're creative, when they, Hanish and Zaboria are playing paddle 101, and they're solid in all of the areas, then it just starts to flow, and they use the speed of play, and then their shot making becomes 30, more creative wow. because 
you can see that the the it car is slower. They can see what they need to do, and they're just very very relaxed and confident right now. She duplicates them. Forty love. Well, so the plan might be to, to give more balls to Hanish, but Zabori is only going to take it for so long and she's going to get herself involved. That's that point. Look, I mean, she's in the alley, Zabori. And like a good teammate, Harnish is ready to switch behind her to cover the opening. That was a better point 40, by Shay and Sutter there. A lot of action that little, that point. Yeah, that little left hand, little uh, overhead from Sutter as a lefty sliding that into Zabori. That was a set up that whole play right there. That point number two. Finish his balls before he's gonna let her hit it. Yeah. Three set Dude. points in a row saved. Shea Sutter making a little bit of a stand here. That 40 love point was terrific. Advantage, Hanish, Zabori. She wants that one back. She wasn't particularly aggressive with her feet on that ball. I stood there and watched it. Just starting to get a little momentum. Now, so from this angle, you can just see the deliberateness of placement. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> of placement of the overheads, Harnish and Zabori. Great get there from Sutter off the neck. Couple of casual points, so I buy Zabori. Oh, and that was a huge hold. Game Actually, break. break. <laughs> that was a break. That was serving for the set and. Zabori Hannish lead five games to three. She that long point, Mark, 
that we saw may have given a boost to Shea and Stutter. They just hung in there a couple of loose points by Sabori, and now we're back 3-5 in the first set. That point's the one they've got to replicate. They've got to be willing to get out there and grind. They've got to make a lot of tough potlies. Just keep the ball in play. Smooth play by Harnish. 30, love. You can see a little, little crack here. It's a window of opportunity for Shea and Sutter, just if they stay solid and consistent. Huge return to serve. Are you surprised that they said they're not changing their position at the net? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I, you know, I, as we said, the opening with one of our keys was I thought that they would change the look at net because they were having a hard time getting into the point. But Sutter, just, she's so fast. She does get on top of the net. She gets right in after a serve. And the, the one adjustment that I've seen from Detroit is Shea staying back off the net. Shea's hitting those pinpoint accurate lobs over Punish's left shoulder. Tends to create confusion in a lot of teams as to who's going to take hey, that. And wow, hey, what a better. spot. That is a huge hold. Well done. The first set. Sutter and Shea. Games to four. Yeah, when when Sabori tries to over that hits that overhead from behind the service line, she trying to generate all that spin. That's when she gets in trouble. She sometimes hits that one on the net. The last one came way off the back wire and set up Amy Shea for a relatively easy forehand. That one point does seem to have turned the match right now. Yeah, that it did. Couple of loose points in there from Zabori in that uh, game that Harnish was serving for the set. And then to their credit, Shane Sutter, they, they've dug in. A little pressure on Harnish Zabori right now. Is just pressing just a little too much. They need to hit that delete button, forget about when they were serving for the set, and just again go back to basic 101 smart shot. It's a much better pace overhead from Zabori. It's tremendous lobs from Shea. Yeah, right, pulling her way out of the service box to hit that. That's a good spot. Oh. Oh. 
and she missed it. What a pair of volleys from oh. Zabori. Those are a pretty good set of hands, Jerry. Yeah, quick. Paddle was up. She's got great reflexes and fearless. I mean, she's kind of moved into it too. If they come back and, and hold here and win this set, that's going to be the point everybody remembers. Shot. Yeah, they utilize the drop shot as well as any team in the country. 30 15. That's good yeah, return. Both of them will like to get right on top of the net when, ne when their opponents are driving at them. They're not afraid of those hard balls coming at them. 30 all. There's a tough angle over it. Zabori's hitting right there. Yeah. Oh. She had the opening, just missed it. Sada really set up a couple of great lobs there. And that, like you said, it was an awkward overhead for Zabori to keep going in on that angle. Set point number four. And four will be the magic number. Game, Game in first Hannah set, Hannah Sabori, 6-4. Hannah Sabori win the first And Mark, I mean, how many times have we seen it? Paddle is such a swing in the momentum. Just that one or two points. You just cannot take your, your foot off the pedal. And mentally, you have to stay focused on what is working for you and stay with it. And there was a little bit of a lapse there, and Sutter and Shea kind of got their rhythm and stayed in the point longer. And you could see that. I mean, that that could have turned. Yeah, I mean, if Zabori doesn't come up with those two magical volleys at love 15, it may be 5 all at this point. Yeah, I think, you know, they're just, I think Hanish Zabori are <laughs> just so confident right now that, I mean, we saw them come back. Well, were they, they were down match points in their first round match in Detroit. Yeah, second uh, to Heather to Heather Prop and her partner. I think five or six match points, they said yeah, maybe seven. For Turka. Yeah. Um, so they kind of have that belief even when they get down that they can come. So. Some conversations going on of what I'm not sure. Um, now, Mark, they did not switch balls at all, did they, in that first set, unless I missed it. The umpire the, had given the them a ball. lecture. Yeah, the umpire had given them a lecture before and that if they wanted to stay with the same ball, they were welcome to because the ones you were holding was going to be cold. You just don't want to fall behind again if you're Shea Sutter. You have some momentum on your, on your side right now. You need to take advantage of it. Hannish will not be happy with that forehand.
Oh, that's smart overhead. Keeping Zabori on us, yep. Keeping her on us. You saw Zabori moving to the middle. Game. Shay Sutter. Shay Sutter, lead the second set. One game to love. I think as we've watched Sutter's game improve, I think the next piece to add is more spin to her overhead. She tends to hit, you know, a, a flatter overhead, and I think a lefty spin. Take a look at Drew Broderick, for example, how he's added more and more spin to his overheads over the years. I think that would be a good thing for Sutter to, to add. Yeah, it's interesting. Shea Sutter kind of got over the hurdle and have found the way into this match, and now looks like it's going to be a real competitive match. I think longer points at their pace. Those high, deep lobs, you know, see if they can get Zabori to take an overhead that maybe she shouldn't cause a little bit of confusion, and then Shea will find the opening. I mean, Shea is, is deadly with her laser-like forehand. And I think it's important for Hanish and Sabori not to press. Oh, that's a great angle showing Zabori just loading up her legs on the spin overhead. You know, so many people try to get the spin just out of their hands, but it comes from the ground up. Again, the forehand volley betrays her. And I love what Sutter did there. She went behind Zabori. I think they need to do more of that. Keep her honest. Yeah, she's, she's definitely traveling. Oh. 30, 15. Sabori made that forehand volley from the service line look so easy. Uh, Sutter got away with that one. Big point early in the set, Jerry. Yeah, I like I like how Sutter's hitting that shot. Yeah, that first shot wide to Zabori, making her reach. She's opening up the court. She's creating her own opportunities. Another pair of amazing volleys from Zabori. Sutter, Shane Sutter played such a good point there. They asked some really good questions, and Zabori had all the answers. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're really, they're using their lobs. They're taking their shots when they need to. And it's, it's really the discipline of Hanish and Zabori right now. Game, Hanish, Zabori. Yeah, that was an Second important set, hold. Tied, one game apiece. Well played game. So many times, like, Mark, how many times have we watched Amy Shea dig her way out of a hole? You know, she's right now there. What's their strategy? She'll take a moment. Actually, you know, she usually takes a lot more time between points. This is the, the, the fastest match I've seen her play in a long time, but... 
smart here to have a conversation about where are you going to stand? Where am I going to serve? So they can get their team into the first three hits of the point. Another great back end from Zabori. Middle. We should have had a stat count on this, Mark, of how many return of service Bori has hit through the middle. Got to be approaching double figures. And when Shea's serving, obviously it's four hands in the middle, so both of them are reaching. Beautiful serve by Shay. Well, yeah, a little that ball was not 15, in front of her 30. enough. A lot of talking, Jerry, but they don't seem to change any of the strategies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's all encouraging. But they keep losing the points the same way. Can't back off the net when Sabori's coming at you. You've got to stay up there. Can't give him any more room. Great slot from Floor Hannish in that lob. Yeah, backhand's in the middle. She found that spot. And you heard Amy Shea say, I can't. See that little slice overhead from Zabori just to create movement. It's wide and it's. Game, Hunter Sabori, they lead 2 1 second set. Sabori, lead the second set. Introducing the Viking Axe. Bold, unique, innovative, groundbreaking. A perfect blend of both worlds. All Axe models combine the superb maneuverability of the Ozones with the oversized head and stability of the Reignites. At 88.9 square inches, it's a true oversized frame, but specifically designed with a longer handle to accommodate the two handed backhand one of the most important shots in the modern game. Featuring Viking's pro proprietary carbon throat stability system for enhanced stability and shock reduction at contact. The Axe has a massive sweet spot that's very forgiven for balls hit outside of it. Viking, rule the court. So what do you think, Jerry? I think that Shea and Sutter have to play longer points and kind of try to handcuff Harnish and Zabori. And are you surprised at the uh, refusal to kind of switch things up on serve? Um, yes, I am. I, I, I am. I thought for sure we would see a, a change, a look in formation um, based on what we saw in Detroit. You know, Detroit, it looked like, okay, uh, who's going to hit harder, Hanish or Sabori? Like, where are we going to put the ball? But And they could make the adjustments. I mean, Sutter's foot speed, they could uh, try staying back and take away the target. I mean, even just one or two points change the look of the court. That's sometimes enough for the receiver who's grooved with the target to have to look at something different and throw in an error. Sada can chase a lot of those balls down. Fifteen forty. 
A couple faults in a row takes us back to two all. There's a couple of free points in there. Okay, where is this serve gonna go? Yeah, that simple Sutter just got a bail earlier and more definitively there. You just see Zabori come up. Her, her paddle was already set before the ball bounced, so she had so many options. And the more that Sutter stayed back, the more options Zabori had. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. You see the Hani Sabori taking all the practice swings there. It's important that they keep their energy up right now because Shea and Sutter are slowly working their way back into 15, some of these 40. points. Not with the forehand volley that we just saw, but they're prior to that they're playing longer points. Five forty. 1540. Definitely 1540. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No question. <laughs> Is our umpire taking charge of the match? We like that. Yeah, we do very much. Very definitely knew the score. Again, these umpires do such a fabulous job. Players really appreciate not having to worry about things. Especially keeping score after long points, it's very easy to to lose a couple of points here and there. Steve DeRose could lose the score on a short point, Jerry. <laughs> and if anyone is interested in uh, umpiring, can they reach out to the APTA? Marshall Chapin heads up our umpires, and there's a whole certification that goes with it. Um, and we'd love to have more umpires on board as the tour is expanding. Have a bird's eye view of the best paddle players in the country. Oh, she had that. She played that well. That little cat and mouse, she got what she wanted. Jay and Sutter hanging in there, fighting. That, that couple of overheads there that Sutter had, those shorter balls in the service box, if she could get in there and turn her shoulder on that overhead, which really put some more spin on it, change, change the spin on some of these over, shorter lobs that she's got for her overhead. This is a really well played point by all four women. Uh, it's great lobbing. Yep, really Hanish, smart. Hanish but it was the overhead. Shea was pulled behind Sutter, and she went too quickly over to Harnish and didn't give herself enough time to get over there and cover that shot down the line, and Harnish stepped in and attacked. Well done. And there he says Zabori kind of back off that return to serve. Some idea of the match getting a little tighter. Yeah, yeah, the longer longer points definitely help Sh Shay and Sutter. Oh, 
Uh, oh, great play from Sutter. Really? And even Held that forehand, Zapori didn't really go after that forehand. Kind of guided yeah. it, waiting for them to bail, maybe. But Sutter held her ground. She didn't back up. Yep. That was a big time point she played right there. Advantage, Hanish Zabori. That hurts. Yeah, that really does hurt after playing such a good point. Just giving it right back. Another three quarter pace return from Zabori. She missed that forehand return early long. Took a couple of practice swings, so she's not quite feeling it like she was earlier in the match. Deuce. Really great opportunity for Shea Sutter here. Absolutely. Harnish and Zabori should be getting energized. They should be jumping up and down right now. They seem just a little bit flat right now. And just like that. <laughs> yeah, hadn't seen much of that at all. Great blitz from Zabori off a good solid return from Harnish. Miss Lops from Hanish. Yeah. Advantage, Hanish, Zabori. Now that was a timely return of serve. You saw the pressure of Zabori coming in behind it because if Shane Sutter can hang in here and hold, this match will have a definite different feel. I agree completely. Oh, that's some backhand from Zabori. Really impressed with that well. She's hit that backhand today, but caught them moving. Yeah, the, the, the reaching error again. It's... It's the speed of play when you're shifting from one player to the other. You've got to have your positioning set before they strike the ball, when they're striking it as big as Hanish and Zabori can off the deck. Because the slightest bit of movement, I mean, you sort of just, she had to reach for that ball and it's just enough to force the error. Which comes back to your initial point of what's their strategy where they're hitting the balls, as opposed to seeing them the army style of paddle, right, left, right, left, right, left and constantly having to shift. Yeah, and speed of play quickly definitely favors Hanish and Sabori. No question. Right. Anna Maria Sabori serving. Well, that overhead was close. A couple of great backhands from Sutter. Now talk about load up your legs there, Mark. See how low she was on that ball? And that's the pace overhead you'd like to see from Shea. Yes. Exactly. It's slower and it's down the middle. Didn't cause their team to shift. And I think that's one of the improvements in Zabori's overhead. Recognizing where she is on the court on those deep lobs. And there's a shorter ball and you've got more shoulder turn and more loading of the legs. Oh, what a pickup from Amy Shea. And there she goes behind Zabori and beats her again. Oh, Sutter attacking, which was one of our earlier keys to victory too, Mark, was that Sutter has got to step in and take those shots when they're there. That was 
a fabulous return. Solid point from Shea Sutter. Three opportunities to get back to even. Yeah, they are fighting hard. I'm sure it's a much more pleasant feeling for them to feel like they're in this match. Another Unlike great ball behind Zabori by Sutter, but she's really yep. figured that out. Yep, she's and she's Second stepping set, in, but you know they're really they're Three in this piece. match. Unlike Detroit, it just felt like they they didn't know what to do. No, I think they've actually been the better team the second set. A couple little errors hurt them. Both teams taking a moment. Yep. Three three. Very very smart to regroup. There's. To me, there's been a little bit of an energy level drop. Harnish and Sabori and Shea and Sutter have capital. And Harnish and Sabori have almost had too easy a path here. Yeah, but you can see there's some head shaking and... Just got to hit the delete button and keep going. Doesn't matter what happened before. 30, love. Here's where they've really got to stabilize their play and just play absolutely rock solid these next few points. No faults, no missed lobs. volleying so well right now. I also think the pace of their overhead is more calibrated. They're not giving Hanish and Sabori anything to work off. They're not able to you know, build any points with their screenplay. Great lob there from Hanish. Catches Shea leaning the wrong direction. Good serve down the team. Pulled Zabori sideways. She wants to go in on a 45 degree angle and cut that return off. seeing the movement in the backcourt from Hanish and Sabori like we did in the first set when they were lobbing well and then shifting and setting up their strength. So they're kind of stagnant there on the backcourt and not changing the look for Shea and Sada. And this is what Amy Shea does so well. We got a match. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying, Mark? There was, there was a lot more movement from Harnish and Sabori in the backcourt when they were lobbing, they were shifting to their left or their right, setting up whichever shot. That hasn't happened as much in this second set. 
Yeah, you know, you haven't seen that dynamic footwork from Zabori. You haven't seen them bouncing around quite so much. Okay, Florhanich to serve, three, four, second set. Three, four. Very impressed with Jolene Sutter, Jerry. She's really come a long way in the last year. Yeah. Yeah, fun to watch. Obviously a terrific athlete, drives the ball well off of both wings, volleyed exceptionally well today. And she's got a good mentor in Amy Shea. They clearly enjoy playing together. That's a nice paced overhead, well placed, very tricky. I mean, I don't Dangerous. know what the temperature is there, Mark, but that ball is not going to come off of the side screen no, at that, that pace. Dangerous angle, too. 15, love. Amy Shea finding the hole in the middle. Twenty nine degrees with a wind chill of sixteen. This is Ann Waldron who went to meteorology school. <laughs> Four year program, Jerry. Is it? Shout out to Ann Waldron who's heading up the live streaming back in the States. Doing a great job. All those moving pieces. Yeah, I just got to sure. question, right? I just want to see if you're paying attention. Thank no, you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Sure you. <laughs> Maybe she was questioning her own call. <laughs> Boy, she's oh, really I, figured yeah. that out going behind yeah. Zabori. Yep, she has. And she's going after it. Point for 5-3. Chance to serve for the second set. Oh, she had her beat. And Sutter is hitting both forehand and backhand. She's dangerous off of both wings. Rihanna's just struggling with that serve a little bit tonight. Sutter. Another point for 5-3. There's a boy who's hitting a few too many old reds in the middle for my taste, Jerry. She is. She's backing into Harnish, taking that ball. And that's, oh. that's the play. Yes. Shea just could not get out of that trap. Needed one good lob and just could not find it. And, you know, you don't see Shay get beat that often in the screen because she lobs so well. She lobs so high and deep. Advantage, Hanish, Zabori. First forehand we've seen missed from Sutter in a while, but a big one. Yeah, that was a gift for Hanish Point for four all. Zabori hitting all these over, it's cross court to Sutter. I think that's a really good play for Shea Sutter. Yes, because it creates opportunity for Shutter. Sutter. Oh, she had it. Yes. I think Zabori's got to let Hannah hit a few more of those overheads. 
Yeah, I agree. She, uh, the honey seems a little bit tight right now. So, you know, she missed that serve. That well, if that's the case, that then I'm, I'm good with him switching at the net and getting Zabori's overhead in the middle. It's very hard right. for all that overhead from the deuce court. No, I get well, what you mean. And her, Jolene's Zabori. backing off of her forehand drive. Yeah, that ball she barely swung at. That was a surprising miss. You don't mind the miss when they go after it, but to, to miss the wall like that, it's like, what are you doing? The There's the switch at the so net. Boring. Yeah, but the they switch the net, she catches the nick, and it's four all. But how about the first volley? <laughs> I mean, that wasn't a really easy volley that anybody could make. <laughs> oh, oh, I couldn't tell. Six games oh. Gotta see that on replay. That was a very wow. casual grab off of a bullet. Kind of feel like that was a missed opportunity for Shea Sutter there. I 100% agree with you, Mark. That was a big game for both teams. You see Floor Hanish all of a sudden is energized, fires a forehand yeah. that they can't handle. There you see the spark again. Zabori just missed that one. Did you get up there, Jerry? <laughs> I missed it. And that Sabori lob was under him. He's definitely got his head in the game. Yes, he's doing a great job out there. Yeah. Oh, great exchange. Love the cat and mouse points. Oh, a lot of time to think about that 30, ball. 30. Wasn't dynamic with the feet. They've done a much better job dealing with the Zabori return. Can't believe how far back Shay is off of the net. I, I gotta ask, I gotta talk to her about that. I mean, Jolene was came in front of her then. Pretty much. I got to think that it's giving her, she feels like it's giving her time to read. 30 all. Great rip there from Zabori, takes us to 30 all. Match hanging in the balance right here, Jerry. Yeah, great forehand from Hanish with Zabori kind of lurking on the service line, forces the missed volley error. Point to serve for the match and the tournament. Great lob from Hanish. Right through the middle. Okay. Great play from Zabori. She like Zabori. held that one, held that one, then exploded Set into it. I don't think Sutter was ready for it. No, I caught her by surprise. She did a good job of not getting hit on that ball. And Zabori will serve for the match at 5-4 in the second set. Well, either way, Shea and Sada will be encouraged. You know, there's defi definitely a dramatic improvement over the last time they played in Detroit. No arguing with that. That wasn't a match. This is a match. Yeah, they've, they've been able to put pressure on Hanish and Zabori, and they've, they've gotten some points just by that pressure, which we didn't see at all before. It was just all one way.
A great exchange from Amy Shea. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 15, Just look. great hands from Zabori. Really well played point all the way around. Thirty. Those are the mistakes you can't afford to make at this point of the match. Hannes Zabori really tightened things up. It's closing time. Yeah, and that's, um, you know, wait for the right opportunity. Have a little more patience, which Shea and Sutter were showing us, in the, especially in the middle of that second set. Again, Zabori taking an overhead. She probably shouldn't be taken. I like those switching this way much better. Yeah, I like the variety. I like, you know, that they have the ability, both of them, to hit. I mean, just once it starts flowing, I don't think Shay knows where Zabori is. You know, that she's right on top of the net like that. Triple match point. Nice rip. 40, 15. Always a tough volley up by that right armpit. They saved a bunch of set points in the first set. Can they do it again? You see Hannah switching to the net to get Zabori's overhead in the middle. Oh, that ball barely crawled over the net. I think they're better this way for a couple of reasons, Jerry. One is that Hannah is much more passive over there, which is a good thing. Bob catches the line. That's two nice match points save, Jerry. Can they duplicate yeah. the effort in the first set? Yeah, that's a... Nice paced overhead by Sutter. Again, it's so cold. It's very hard. That ball coming off that side screen is tough. 40-30. Look at the depth of the lob that Shay's hitting. standing three feet inside the baseline. Yeah, yeah, well, it's obviously stopping Zabori being able to hit any of those spin overheads, which cause hey, all the trouble, and there it is. Match. Game Zabori, set and match, Hannah Zabori, 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. Good match, Jerry. Yeah, no, that was a great Best match, a great second open. set. Um, I, I think, like we said, I think Shane Sutter really slowed it down. Saucer took advantage of some opportunities. I think there was the dip in the play from Harnish and Zabori. And... Sutter and Shea took advantage of it. And then Shea, as you pointed out, Mark, really capitalized on going down the line behind Zabori, off of both wings. And that was a turning point. It was like a little bit of a spark kicked in. Harnish, I think, tightened up a little bit there, threw in a couple of faults, and that's all it takes. You know, just turn it on a dime. Yeah, that game that Hunter served at 3-4, they had a couple of break opportunities. Shea missed the forehand return on the first one down the line and they lost the second point. But they were right there. I mean, they have to be yeah. encouraged by this. And you could just see Sutter growing before your eyes as a player. Yes. Yep. So, you know, we want to we wanna find out why Amy Shea has decided to move back off the net. And... And Sutter is definitely continues to work on her game. I'd love to see her get a little more spin on that overhead and just keep attacking. And Harnish and Zabori continue their march. They are undefeated this season. And kudos to them, Mark. You know, they work on their game. I mean, they're really out there doing everything that they can to get better and better and clearly enjoying their time and to get tremendous support from both of their clubs. I was talking to Anna Maria Zabori about this, and she said that Floor Hanish is so all in 
that it makes her commitment even better, that she, she feels like she has to work hard at it because Flora works so hard at it. Yeah. Yeah, no, she has. Um, and Zabori has embraced that. And she's also, you know, enjoying, she's, the, uh, she's teaching at the Country Club of New Canaan in Connecticut, and you can just feel that she gets a lot of support and a lot of energy from her members, as does Flora, who's at the Montclair Country Club. Um, Montclair Golf that, Club. You know, is it, Montclair Golf Club, and it makes it fun, right? I mean, it makes it fun when you when you go back and you've got that kind of support. Amy, I'm sure she's at the Woodway Country Club, up there in the Connecticut, and um, it's just fun to relive these moments. You know that they're following them either at the clubs where they can or watching it on live stream. Okay, so and they are getting ready to do an interview with them, and they're going to be able to hear us, but I don't think we'll be able to see them, Jerry. We're not going to be able to see them? Or no, I don't believe so. They're having us. some problems with the cameras. That's okay. Oh, okay. You're not missing out too much. <laughs> oh, you can hear us. Yeah. Hey, guys, con congratulations, Jerry and Mark here. Thank you. Hi. Can you, can you hear us? Yes. Yes. All right. Thank so you. give us some insight. What was going on uh, through your mind there, especially in the second set when it looked like uh, Sutter and Shay were starting to grind it out. You know, we had a really nice support, a lot of members. This is Fontina's former club. I had a lot of members coming from Country Club of New Canaan, my previous clubs, Fox, uh, Club Fox Meadow, and I honestly didn't want to get into the third set to, because it's really cold tonight. So I fell for them. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, um, Shay and Sutter, was they were playing well. Um, Amy was lobbing very well. We played them just two weekends ago, and it was a floor, match. Floor, hang on, floor, yes. put the microphone a little bit closer to your mouth. It's, it's actually to close to her this, mouth. She's my just mask. very shy. <laughs> uh, no, I was saying that they play very well. I thought Shay was lobbing very well, which is didn't allow us to do some of the overheads that you, we usually go go for it or be aggressive. But I thought our strategy was definitely to do drop shots and we get the chance. And I, Anna was amazing. She was reading very well the drives and closing in the net. And I thought really the, the drop shots made a difference. I right, also wanted right, to say that uh, Florentina is a lot faster every tournament we play, <laughs> so that's definitely adding to the quality of the points. I think it's, I don't know if it's good or bad, but I think it's a lot in our favor when we have this quick exchange and, um, you know, fast points. I feel that uh, she's back to her... Uh, Pre Sophia shape, <laughs> and um, I think uh, that's uh, yeah. I heard you saying that she's pushing me to work harder and get better and be on top of my paddle game day in, day out. I feel a lot of pressure going to the gym tomorrow morning now. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you both work hard, it shows. Um, Thank you. How would you describe? how much this means to you, having the success that you're finding right now? It means a lot. Like Anna said, we work hard for to be in shape and play the best that we can and the best we were when we get on the court and we get the results that we want or we play the way that we want. And I couldn't be happier. You know, it's actually... Um, I, I think the the commitment to the game and the pure joy, um, just going to work uh, with a big smile and anticipating working with the gentlemen and the ladies and juniors and just trying to be the role model and try to really um, influence them to really try to do what we are doing. It kind of, uh, you know, gives us that status where we want to defend it and you know, the, we definitely feel and know that we have a big target on our back. So uh, that's just another reason why we cannot have a loose set or a loose match because uh, we play a, a lot of times. I feel people that are very relaxed and feel like, you know, they can just enjoy and, and play their game freely. So um, you can maybe sense that we get tired once in a while, but it's a great experience for us, a great journey. And... Uh, 
I'm excited for all the tournaments and all the years to come. And I love uh, when we're 4-4 four four and it was very tight on the second set. Anna, remember to have fun. She told yes. me that and I love it. Yeah. Well, that, it definitely shows. Mark and I were, were commenting. Uh, um, and when, when do we see you again? When's your next uh, tournament? Boston. Yes. Can I just say something? No. I know my brother and uh, my family, they are watching in Serbia. I hope, but I have no time. What it, oh, it's past midnight, but you know, it's uh, Serbian Christmas. I heard you guys mention that. So uh, kudos to my brother staying up on Christmas Eve and uh, telling me, I don't know how much he knows about Pella. He said we were not that bad in semis. <laughs> so Merry Christmas, bro. Anna, we would be remiss if we didn't mention that wonderful hip check you threw at Floor when she got too close to you. Uh, I think she's used to it by now. Um, you know, sometimes I don't know where she's going to make her step next, so I want to make sure I know by pushing her. Well, congratulations. Fun watching you guys play. Great, great result, and we look forward to seeing you play in Boston. Thank, Thank you so guys. much for uh, you, dedicating Mark. your time and volunteering and being always here to commentate you, Lauren, Patty. Um, thank you for everything you're doing for the game. Our pleasure. It's fun watching the, watching the game proceed. So that is a wrap from us. We will see you next weekend when we are live from the next stop. Wait, wait, tomorrow morning. Eight. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Tomorrow morning. Well, you're out of shape. You're in Australia. You kind of lost your rhythm. That's a wrap for here. We've got the men's tournament tomorrow. Mark, you better you better expound on that. We'll see everybody for the round of 16 at 9.30 tomorrow morning. All right. That's a wrap. That's Thanks, a wrap. Mark. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Much.